Welcome back to Ash Creativity. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to paint a mandala on a rock or a stone. All you'll need is a smooth rock, some paints, and daughters. If you don't have daughters, you can use things like a toothpick, q-tip, or the back end of a pencil. If you have a very light colored stone, then you're going to need to paint it black completely before we start because it will help the colors pop out and show up much more. The first thing we're going to do is use a large daughter and white and place a dot in the center of our rock. Then we're going to use white and a smaller daughter and make a ring of dots around our center dot. You can use a technique of top, bottom, left, right, and then dots in between to help you. For the next round, I'm using the same daughter and the color Pop Pink from Serum Coat Select. We're going to create a ring of dots around our mandala every round and we're going to use the same technique every time. The only difference will be that our daughter will get slightly larger each time and the colors will change. Next, I'm going to use a slightly larger daughter and a mix of pop pink from Serum Coat and pure pink from Apple Barrel.
the next round, I'm using just pure pink. Next, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get a slightly bigger daughter and I'm going to use the pink, pure pink from Apple Barrel as well as purple iris from Apple Barrel. I'm going to mix these two together and I'm going to use a ratio of two to one. So two parts pink and one part purple. Next, I'm going to reverse that and I'm going to use two parts purple iris and one part pure pink. After everything dries, we're going to use just purple iris and a slightly larger daughter and we're going to create another ring of dots. So we're almost done and we have two more rounds. For this round, we're going to use purple iris from Apple Barrel as well as bright blue from Apple Barrel. We're going to mix these in equal proportion and use a slightly larger daughter to make a ring of dots around our mandala. Now we're going to use bright blue and the same daughter that we used for the center and make another ring of dots around our mandala. The last thing we're going to do is use white and the smallest daughter and we're going to place a dot between each dot of our mandala. This will help the colors and the dots pop and it will create a starry effect in your mandala. are super fun and super easy to make and they're really really pretty you can use them to decorate anything you'd like and 
you can create a variety of different ones by using different variations of colors 